Welcome to the second uh, USF Chinese Language Festival and Performance Competition. The first thing that we will do is announce some of our, uh, or recognize some of our uh, outstanding students for their classroom performance in Chinese. Now we have, a, uh, we're recognizing one student at each level. We have in first year, second year, and third year Chinese. Uh, in first year Chinese, uh, outstanding student award goes to Christina Crane. I may have your name come down. Dr. Uh, Dr. Ricard, Chairman of World Languages. student in second year Chinese is Dylan Carmenter. I have to mention that uh, Dylan is, was the outstanding student in first year Chinese last year. He's a two-time winner. The only two-time winner. And outstanding student in third year Chinese is Li Zhen. Spent a couple of weeks in China last summer. I do not feel uh, capable of saying anything more than "ni hao." <laughs> so <laughs> I do know a couple of other words, but they don't amount to much. I just want to say that uh, my experience last summer was absolutely phenomenal. Uh, I got to see uh, some of you, uh, I see, recognize some of you there, and I also got to see, of course, uh, Dr. Shepherd's phenomenal pedagogy in action. So uh, all of you who are here tonight and are connected with the Chinese program, let me just tell you that you are very, very fortunate. You are in the best program in the U.S. of A period. So, yeah. Thank you. I know, thank you. I don't know, I, don't, I know you're not supposed to correct your boss, but we're not the best Chinese program in the USA. We're the best Chinese program in the world. Uh, I want to recognize a couple of other people here. Sunny uh, Duan uh, is here from the Shi Jie Ba. Always supports all of our events, our Chinese related events. Uh, the uh, Senior Vice President for uh, Global Initiatives, Research Innovation and Global Initiatives, is that correct? Very <laughs> Karen Holbrook is with us today. Uh, serving as judges for the performance competition are uh, Professor uh, Qin Xizhen, Um, Professor Zhu Xiaomei from Nankai University and with our Confucius Institute. And, uh, Christine, uh, President of the Chinese Student and Scholars Association. Uh, today we have 30 uh, acts for you, uh, or 30 students performing for you. <laughs> Thank you. 
如果你不曾心碎，你不会懂得我伤悲。当我眼中有泪，别问我是为谁，就让我忘了这一切。啊，给我一杯忘情水，忘了一夜不流泪。所有的心脏依人才依的不醉，无足的爱收不回。给我一杯忘情水，忘了一生不爽悲。就算我被喝醉，就算我被心碎，不会看见我流泪。
左右灌桥，想找人问问路。郑寿桥，终身旁小路，来不及问底。这个人白发苍苍，有七十多岁，右手里拿着粉叉，拿着剑上背着粉机。公子一瞧。是什么老儿？这用不着客气，所以就没讲礼貌。问路还挺神气，他急着驴喊：“老婆儿，我来问问你，奔进城走哪条路啊？往北还是往西？”两句话把老人家。给问了一肚子气，瞧不瞧？这骑驴的青年，还是个年数的。心里想，你既读诗书，就应当这里。想问路，你应下驴，过来做个揖。你勺子骑在驴上，还也掉如枪，我不能便宜了你。想着此，他瞧着公子，一声也不言语。公子说：“嗨，老毛儿，我的话你没听见呐？瞧着我，也不说话。”你诚信要让我骑骑？老人说：“想我问路，我可以告诉你。你必须先得给我解开一个谜。什么？解开一个谜？<笑>那有什么呀？有什么不懂的？你就说吧。”老人说：“我养了。”头母驴，他怀了孕，下了一条狗。公子闻听，哈哈哈哈哈，大笑，那可太离奇。驴怀孕就得生驴，那怎么会能下狗呢？老人说，我也纳闷，如何落计？该怎么着，他不怎么着，可真让我憋气。这畜生也不说话，也不讲话，我实在是没了主意。你要能解开这个谜，我一定给你指路。我老头子就想知道。他什么时候能下驴？公子闻听，一琢磨，他满脸通红，恍然大悟：“老人家，请你指路吧，我现在就给您指路，呃，下驴呀。”谢谢。